First, hurricane evictions. Find out why residents are being tossed out and why some have had trouble finding any help. They have less than a week to pack their things and get out. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. So in nearly a month since Hurricane Ian hit, we've seen it all across Central Florida. Apartments so badly damaged that people had to leave. Well, there is added frustration at Cypress Landing in Orange County. Many have had trouble finding help because of a language barrier. News 6's Troy Campbell was there tonight when FEMA sent in Spanish-speaking help. The principal here at Oak Ridge High School says there was a large turnout on Wednesday for their FEMA event. Their goal is to help Spanish-speaking residents here at Cypress Landing fill out their federal aid forms. We got nowhere else to go. Santonio Leducer says without another apartment for his mother to move into. This U-Haul truck is being filled with her belongings and being taken to a storage unit. It's, it's like a waiting list is like at least a year or at least like you at least have like 10 to 20 people ahead of you. Walking around inside, you can see the mold covering every wall following the flooding from Hurricane Ian. Residents say they've been told to be out by November 1st. Because most of them are low income, finding a new place has been a challenge. We first introduced you to Omaria Ramos back on October 4th when she said she needed to stay with her family to help them communicate in English. The only one on the family that knows English and Spanish. So if I end up at the hospital with an asthma attack, who's going to look out for them? On Wednesday, Ramos said her family was in the process of finding another hotel to stay at, saying they've run out of funds. Orange County Commissioner Myra Uribe says many of the FEMA representatives have been unable to speak Spanish resulting in this FEMA information event outside Oak Ridge High School. Leducer says with growing mold, many residents, including his mother, want to be in a safe environment. This is getting bad. It's actually getting bad. Like there's clothes. If you've been in there for like a few minutes, you're actually going to smell like the mold. Because she can't be breathing in the, in the condition because it's not healthy regardless. Plus, she actually had issue with breathing before. So. Leducer also says he's had to take off of work to help with the cleanup, which has resulted in reducing his income. A few other residents tell us that they've called around to apartment complexes, and even if they find a place with a vacancy, they say it's just simply too expensive to also pay the security deposit. In Orange County, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.